Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. In this quick tutorial video, I will show you how to get unlimited iCloud storage on your iPhone to store your photos and videos completely for free. The setup process is really simple and you will not pay even a single penny to store an infinite amount of your photos and videos on iCloud. Promised. As you probably know, when you are creating a new Apple ID, Apple gives you just 5GB of free iCloud storage. It's definitely not enough, even for standard users. If you want to get more iCloud storage, you should pay $1 per month for 50GB, $3 per month for 200GB and $10 for 2TB of additional iCloud storage. That's ridiculous, knowing that you are already paying over $1000 for your iPhone and you are getting just 5GB of free iCloud storage that can be used in just a few weeks, especially if you are keeping iMessage, photos and other files on your free iCloud plan. So as always for Apple, selling additional iCloud storage is just another way to make more money. It's just a business after all. But there is a simple trick that allows you to upload and store an unlimited amount of photos and videos on your iCloud completely for free. And by the way, your standard free 5GB storage plan will stay untouched, so you can leave it for other important files. The trick works with the shared iCloud albums function, which you can activate in settings. Go to settings, scroll down and go to photos. Now you have to deactivate iCloud Photos to prevent the photos from saving to your iCloud, because otherwise you will run off storage pretty fast. Next, make sure you have activated the Shared Album option, it's really important. To upload photos and videos to your shared albums, open the Photos app on your iPhone and click the small plus icon on the top left. Now choose a new shared album and give it a name. You can create as many shared albums as you want, or you can create just one master album where all your pictures and videos will be saved by default. One shared iCloud album can store up to 5000 items, so if it's not enough for you, you can simply create another one. You can even add additional people to view your pictures, but I suppose most of the people out there will prefer to keep their pictures private, so make sure to not invite any people if you don't want to share pictures with them. Tap on the create button and voila, you just created your private shared iCloud album. In order to upload your photos and videos to your private shared iCloud album, there are two options. Simply open your shared album and click on the plus icon, and then Select your pictures and videos you want to transfer and click done. The other option is to do that directly from the recent pictures folder. Select your pictures and add them to your shared album. Even if your photos will take 10 gigabytes, it will not affect your standard free iCloud plan because the photos will be saved in the shared album and there are no limits regarding the size or the amount of shared albums you can create. So technically, you're having free iCloud storage for your photos and videos. How cool is that? Just be aware that every iCloud shared album is limited to 5000 items, so when you're running out of space, you should create a new one. Once your pictures and videos are transferred to your private shared album, you can even delete them from your iPhone library to free up even more space on your device. Don't worry, your pictures and videos will still be available in the cloud, inside your shared album. You will be able to view and download them on your Apple devices connected to your iCloud account. If you would like to download and get your photos and videos back to your library on your iPhone, simply open the picture in a shared album and click on save image. The image will be saved back into your photo library locally on your device. To access your photos and videos on your Mac, open the photos app on your computer and go to settings. Make sure to check the shared albums option. Once this option will be selected, you will see your shared albums on your Mac. You can even create shared albums directly on your Mac and share photos and videos from your computer to your iPhone. Simply select the pictures you want to transfer and right click on them. Share, shared albums and voila, all your pictures from your Mac will be available in your iCloud completely for free. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye.